A piece of Las Vegas' history crumbles to the ground as an infamous gentleman's club is demolished. We're talking about Crazy Horse 2, located on Industrial by Sahara. Getting the bullet from the city of Las Vegas as the vacant building is a hazard. Victoria Saha joins us live with what could be next for the property, Victoria. Yeah, much of the building is now in rubble, and it's been a long time coming for the very few businesses still in the area. They tell me this former gentleman's club has been an eyesore for a very long time. A legendary Las Vegas club in pieces. But don't let the condition of this part of Industrial Road fool you. Back in the day when it was very busy, yeah. it helped all the businesses around. Owner of Gold and Beyond, Roy Zalak, is able to see Crazy Horse 2 from his store. It's an eyesore, and there was a lot of homeless people problems. The Gentleman's Club is no stranger to headlines. One of the former owners, Rick Rosillo, sold the property after it was raided by the FBI in 2003. He pleaded guilty to failing to pay payroll taxes and was known for his mob ties. The federal government took over the building before selling it, but the club closed its doors permanently in 2014, leaving it to stay vacant and rust away. What a waste of property. If, if they can do something for the community or any other business, it's going to help all of us. So it's a huge waste of land. That's what it is. But this past year, multiple fires, turning it into a hazard. The city of Las Vegas reports asbestos was found on the property and needed to be demolished by the owner. Otherwise, they were going to do it themselves, leaving many to wonder what will come next. I did reach out to the property management company to see what is next for this prime property, but I'm still waiting to hear back. Victoria Saha, 8 News Now. Thank you, Victoria. According to the city of Las Vegas, once demolition is completed, the area will then be fenced off.